Um, today's video will be about installing a Pioneer head unit in a Ridgeline, a 13 Ridgeline. Uh, most of you guys um, know, but if not, uh, I traded my Acura TXX and I got a Ridgeline. Um, yeah, it's kind of a downgrade, but kind of an upgrade at the same time. Um, I couldn't find an RTL model, so I and I ended up getting a sport model for the 13. And for a, what, $35,000 truck, there is no Bluetooth. You get a basic head unit. Um, it's more of a cosmetic upgrade, um, which is very disappointing for a 13 model without Bluetooth. Which bring us to today's video. Um... So I there's this is this week uh, this past weekend was at the presidential day sale on uh, crutchfield.com. Uh I got the Pioneer 40 of uh, Pioneer 4200 4800 BS model. Um I think it was a $40 or $30 sale. Um but it came with all this, the you know, the steering control, the um the what is it? The uh, double den um, uh, cover, um, along with the antenna and uh, what else? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so it's free shipping, no tax. I got it for about three forty-one totaled, so it wasn't that bad. Um, so I really wanted the the forty-two hundred NEX, but. I thought about it. Do I really want the CarPlay or the Android Play? Um, and I figured I'd rather save 200 bucks and just opt for this instead. I just wanted the Bluetooth, nothing more. Um, so, like I said, it brings us to today's video on the upgrade. So I just want to give the intro real quick, and then um, I'm going to start taking the uh, the dash apart. But let's go back to the head unit and show you what I've done here. Um, just for the the noobs out there that are um, new to this. Um, so basically, uh, when you buy... Oh yes, it comes with a harness too. Uh, this is the factory harness. Um, which, this is the Metro harness that connects with the uh, factory harness. So you don't have to hack up your uh, um, factory harness. So when you open the Pioneer out the box, it comes with this harness right here. Uh, and then there's like butt connectors. Uh, no, it's like spliced uh, wires. So this is pretty clean. In uh, in my case, it's all tied up, simple, all in one bundle. Um, not too messy. Um, but under this tape right here, you see the spiral um, wires right here. So you, you, in this harness, you have front, front, left, right speakers, uh, rear, left, and right speakers, which takes up like eight, eight. Eight of these singles, uh, single uh, uh, lines right here. So, like the white right here, white black will probably be uh, uh, right or left uh, negative. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, it's all correlated. And if you follow across, it actually matches this harness. So basically, you're matching up wires from one harness to the other. Um, but when it comes to this, I, this is already pre-wired in a way that when it connects to the factory harness, it's, it's ready to go. Even though the factory harness, the wires, the wire color are completely different. Um, so just don't, don't worry, uh, don't worry about matching up, uh, the color on the other side of the factory harness to this. Um, don't, don't be, um, intimidated by that. So basically, you just worry about the Pioneer harness and the Metro harness. Um... And you just match them up uh, in a way um, that uh, it's this clean. Just wire the way this. It's clean and it's not messy. I've seen a lot of folks online who who just um, uh, just what is it? Uh, just either tie it and 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 tape it up. That's not really secured. Uh, I actually soldered mine, so it's a pretty tight connection. Um, you can get butt connectors, something, something more than just twisting wires around and then taping it up. I mean, I wouldn't advise doing that, especially um, with this much weight on one end and then the plug in the other. Um, 
So when you're pulling it out, you're bound to get get a loose connection. And when that happens, you have to unbundle everything and, and, and re retighten everything up. It's just a big guessing game, basically. So just do it one time, do it right, um, and then you won't have any trouble down the road. Of course, and then the the, the steering control, uh, you know, you only use 12-volt uh, ground and the white wire um, from this unit. So... The the twelve volt in the ground, I actually wired it to the harness here instead of wiring it somewhere else in the car. So everything is all wired to this unit. So when I when it comes to taking the head unit out, the factory head unit out, I'm just gonna plug the harness in, the antenna in, and uh, find the other two uh, connection and and tap into those, and I'm all set. Uh, as far as the the e brake goes. I'm not sure if I need this or not, um, because I won't be watching any videos anyway, so this is still, like, last minute, you know, decisions. If you want to, I guess you can go a step further and find the parking brake wire, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to install this or not, so if I do, you see it on camera, if not, then, I'm, you know, you're, you gotta find another video. The antenna right here. Oh, and the one thing that kind of threw me off was the blue wire from the Metra harness. Um, don't use that. Don't use the mute one. Um, and don't use... I think that's it from this one. Oh, very important thing. Uh, when you do order from Crutch Food or Sonic Electronics, Make sure you when you when you put in your like information on your car or your vehicle, make sure you select the correct uh, vehicle because they actually still send you a harness um, for that vehicle. Like if you have like a uh, an automatic uh, or like an RTL or a navigation model or or an RTL uh, with a navigation, you actually have more wires. If you see here, let me see. You see there's like missing pins. So you save yourself the, the hassle of uh, of like putting wires away um, by selecting the right trim. Like I got this. This, this is a sport model. So basically it's, it's, a, it's a basic interior. So there's no subwoofer, no navigation. So it might, it, it, it it doesn't have the extra wires. You know, it, gets, it makes life easier. It, like, ma yeah, it makes life easier with that. So going forward from there, uh, I'm going to take the dash out, uh, and then put this in. It shouldn't take no more than an hour after you figure that out. Um, and the Metra, and if you decide to go with the, uh, you know, if there's a better deal at the Sonic Electronic, they, they actually sell, oh, a Skosh, um, brand, um, hardware. So, from the reviews online, Metra has actually a better fitment on, for the Ridgeline. So... Uh, it's a pretty much preference. Take it apart into so many times that I actually went and invest in uh, these uh, trim removal tools. Um, surprisingly, Honda actually made a groove right here for, I guess, easy access for removal. So once you get your, your tool under this groove right here, and you, like, you know, just give it a nice, you know, uh, a tug on it, uh, pulling it towards you, everything kind of, like, pops out, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, it's like, yeah, it's all push pins, so, it's just gotta be gentle in certain areas, but, yeah, it's pretty, wow, I'm surprised it's so easy. Um, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that it's easy to remove, but I didn't think it would be this easy. This easy. Um, yeah, alright. Ooh, there's a crack right there. What? How did I not notice that? Okay, so, um, let me see if I can take this out without sh moving the shifter. No, I can't. Alright, let me, uh, oh, there's connectors all over, actually. Here's one. There's one right there. So two right here. Let me put the phone down real quick.
So putting your key into ignition two allows you to move the shifter um, down and give you more clearance. Back here to uh, unplug those harness and there's one more uh, right here for the cabin light. Jeez, these things are... I wonder how that got cracked by a speedometer. It's kind of bothering me now. And then the air conditioning is a big plug. I wonder how you're going to take this out. Uh, one thing that was giving me an issue was this harness right here. I thought it was just uh, you get to flip these. Um, tabs up but really is like one hidden tab underneath where you have push up and to, to pull it out um so there's one two three four five six seven harness you gotta unplug to get the the panel out um after that there's four screws <clears throat> which i don't have a screwdriver to and then you're you're given access to um the radio um pulling up the radio there's one right there, one Green one right there, and so one. Hold on, oh, so hard. So there's one harness right here, one right there, and one right there, and one right there. So it's four harness all together. Um, that you have to unplug to get the uh, radio out. I unplugged three of them already. Let me get this one right here, like, real quick. All right, get the radio out. So. There's one harness that was missing, which is right here. I'm not sure exactly what harness that is. So, wait, this one right here. I'm guessing you yeah, have no idea what that is. So, and that, there it is. So let's start connecting things in. Let's see how many amp is this. Zoom. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Actually, Pioneer actually made this. From this head unit, I'm just going to take this bottom part and transfer over to the head unit. And the only thing I was holding together was one screw over here and the other over there. And you can remove this completely out. So that's the only thing I'll need from it. Um, I thought about reusing the metal frame instead of the plastic one from Metra. Um, unfortunately, I can't because of... According to uh, the... Um the steering wheel control unit, or what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Uh, pack for the ridge line, uh, for the Civic 24 harness. I guess that's, that's what it's called. Um, white will go to pin 16, which is green and red. I found the green and red right there, and then the ground will be the brown, which is pin 5. Um, now it says ground to chassis. I'm just gonna uh, because the the pack harness has a uh, a ground that splits. One goes to the um, one goes to the head unit, and the other one goes to here. But they're but they're on one one um, mm -hmm. one ground circuit that goes to the harness. So I'm just gonna uh, wire it. Straight and ground it to the harness um, on the head unit itself. So I, I wouldn't have to go and dig around for a, another ground source. I'm just going to ground that to the head unit by itself. Before I put everything back together, um, I got the harness connected. Um, antenna I haven't connected yet. I want to see what's going on. So let's give it a test try, see if it powers on everything. Um, see if we have speakers and all. Okay, it powers on. That's all it's good. Touchscreen is touchscreen is not that sensitive. It looks like maybe it's just hit like um, enter. Hmm, that's weird. Or okay, I see it. Uh, speaker mode.
We have sound. Wait, 106. All right, so without the antenna, it does not work. Let me plug the antenna in. Give me a second. Um, so it worked. Uh, I had to cut off the video uh, early because of the um, the uh, copyright issues. Uh, I for completely forgot about the music um, going off. Um. So yes, uh, with the uh, antenna, you don't have to wire the blue wire um, to it. I mean, I just I just cap it off and plug in the actual antenna, plug this into it, and it worked completely fine. Um, I haven't really had a time, chance to play with this yet, um, but I know for sure it worked, so I'm happy with it. Um, um, I, I'm just going to probably wire this reverse wire like back into the dash where I can plug it in later. Uh, I'm not going to wire it now. Like I said, I only, I only, I'm just going to wire it back there just in case I do need it in the future. Uh, then I'll just bring it down and wire it to the brakes or whatever. Uh, this harness, there's one harness that's not being used. I'm not sure exactly what this is yet. Uh, it could be speaker wires, but uh, I could be wrong. Because it's, let me see, it's one, two, three, four, five, two, only five wires here. I'm not exactly sure what this is exactly, um, but it's not being used, so no idea. Um, otherwise, everything seems to be fine. Speakers seem to be fine. Another thing is that with this Metra uh, faceplate, is that the hinges, the hinges for the second to bottom, is really fragile. Um, I try to take off the uh, stock frame. It did not fit the hose, so sadly I couldn't reuse these. Um, so don't don't even really bother trying it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately the material they use is very uh, weak. Um, this hinge right here is actually just clipped on. They actually use an actual machine bolt to clip on thin plastic for this hinge, which is very uh, disappointing actually. Um, but I did some research and it, it held up just fine. It's just the material grade is just terrible um, for this. So I'm just gonna I got the the, the side mount uh, mounted on. Um, everything works. Uh, USB and audio aux. Uh, I have not figured out what I'm gonna do with those. So this right here, this loose um, harness, is actually the audio the aux cord. Um, I've seen this some research, and you can actually tap into this and yeah uh, and and plug it into your um, S video ports, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use Bluetooth. Um, it's just kind of bothering having that dead port over there. Uh, but other than that, everything seems fine. I mean, I can just run cords and an, an aux cord into the uh, center console, but I'm just gonna put it back there uh, and, and decide later. Um, but I'm not worrying about it right now. So I'm just gonna tape up in uh, some of these harness so that it doesn't like. Um, like hit the interior back there and make rattle noise. So I'm just gonna probably just double it up on taping and padding and whatnot. Whatever I can do, you know. And um, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so after the entire installation's done, everything's all set up. Uh, uh, volume control works. Let me see. Let me get this. Uh, Bluetooth works, radio works. Show you what. Uh, Audio works, channel works, mode works. See Pandora, Spotify, everything works. Audio sounds much more better. Let me turn the volume off because uh, I don't want to get the copyright issue. So, uh, CD, you know, everything's pretty cool. Oh, it's crap. Let me turn the volume down. So, everything works. Put back in. Yes. Yep. So, um, yeah, one cool thing is that I've shit. Uh, one cool thing is I install a USB port down here. Got my USB cord I can plug in right here. 
And uh, of course, that would allow my um, app radio and app live to work. Uh, so everything is down there. Aux, audio, USB, all down there. Instead of right there. It's, uh, you know, it's a clean look. I've seen uh, one member on the forum actually use that same um, harness installed right here. I didn't want to have that wire, you know, all, all exposed. I just want to tuck in down here like most uh, vehicles. So... I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, only thing I didn't I didn't use is the backup camera because I have one up here, so I didn't want to use it. I mean, I didn't want to waste my time wiring it, uh, wiring another backup camera, or or tapping on the stock camera and wiring it back here. Uh, I didn't, I didn't see a need for that. I could do it, but I didn't see a need for it, so I didn't want to do it. Um, the cool thing about this head unit, uh, this is my first head unit, so head unit, so to me it's cool. Um, that, oh, um, that there's, uh, let me see, there's, um, let's say I, if I was listening to this, listen to the song, right, let me mute this, okay, so I'm mute, okay, oh, I can't even do it, I'm turning the volume down then, okay, so, instead of adjusting your treble and bass, that gives you, they give you like a profile, uh, presets, you know, powerful, natural, vocal, um, uh, I mean, I, depending on what kind of genre you're listening to, this is great. Oh, so, uh, what's cool is I see how it's blurred out. Let me engage the, the speaker. Uh, I mean, the e-brake. Now, now you see how how the, uh, that's um, that's that's allowing me to go through it right now. So without the e-brake wire being connected, that green wire that I showed you earlier, without that being connected, that Bluetooth uh, setting will be grayed out, and you can't use it. Um, so that's the uh, green wire. So you have to wire that down or by a bypass or whatever it is that pretty much so that's pretty much the uh, installation for the pioneer x 4800 bs model uh pretty straightforward um uh process um i like it it looks good for the ridge line at first i was a little bit um i was a little bit skeptical because of the i mean i was not skeptical but i was hesitant on buying the head unit because how simple it looks uh, I mean, the photo doesn't do it justice after you install it. It looks pretty OEM. Um, you know, I mean, anything is better than the OEM one originally, but I was a little hesitant on buying it because it's so simple. You know, it's not as nice as, uh, you know, having more buttons, you know, so, but it goes with the, uh, go, it goes with the, um, the whole dashboard. Um, so I'm not complaining. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or or private message me and I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, so just so guys, stay tuned uh, for my next uh, videos on the, on the bridge line.